Hi, I'm that one guy Tim, and this is a tutorial about timing. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump right in. Um, first, you're going to need a few things. First thing you, that you're going to need, which is very important, is AG sub, and um, that is this right there. That you need that. So go ahead and Google it, and it's like one of the very first links that pops up. Go to it, download it, install it and uh, then you're ready. Um, once you have that you're gonna also need a translation. Um, your translation can come in a few uh, different formats. You can have it come in a text file that looks like this and um, typically your, your translation and text file will either just have the translation so it'll just be like that or it might come with the person talking right here followed by a colon and then what they said and make sure that you know exact if they put the person that's talking make sure you know what it is that, that they separate um, the character name and the line with you're gonna need to know that in this case it's just colon um, or it might come in just an ASS file that somebody already put into AG sub for you and they didn't time so once you got that you're ready to go oh you're gonna also need a video obviously whatever you're gonna be timing with or put your uh, subtitles on make sure you have that now let's go ahead and open up AG sub and once you have it open you're gonna see um, that little picture right there and then uh, here there we go um, then you can uh, you go to file open subtitles and now see we have both options right here let's go ahead and open up the text file first so you get just that open and when you go to open a text file it's gonna ask you actor separator remember what I said remember what they separate the actor with the line with in our case it was a semicolon if they separated it with something different like a hyphen put that in right there okay but ours was a, was a colon so we put that in click OK and then AG sub does the rest for us separates everything out you get your line numbers right here your start time your end time your style which is how the font looks on the video and um, or not just the font but rather the entire line the subtitles and you got your actor and your text what comes up on the line or um, let's go ahead and close that out uh, how do we do that um, new subtitles open subtitles now we open up our ASS everything set for us good to go um, once you have this done you gotta open up your video open video and then you find your video which would be like something like that raw and you open it then you go to audio open audio from video make sure you click that when you do that there's gonna be a thing that pops up in the middle that says reading audio into RAM when that's done you'll have an audio thing pop up on the right and you should get something that looks like this and you see how your video takes up all your space if it's your first time opening up AG sub your video is gonna be at a hundred percent zoom and you don't want it like that so let's put it down to like fifty and now we can see some things here's your audio your audio is gonna be tiny so we click right here and we drag it down so we can see it better there now we got a better view of the audio a little bit more. There we go. And now I just realized that uh, we need to open up the subtitles. So let's go ahead and do that. File, open subtitles. And we'll open up this. Click OK. No. So now we got our subtitles all loaded right there. Um, so now let's go ahead and start with this line right here. Um, oh, here's a good thing that you need to know first of all. See this little thing, this little box? This is, um, if you highlight over it and you sit for a second, it'll say toggle auto screen um, a video. And you want that on. If it's off, it'll look like this. So turn it on. If it's not on, and what that does is, if you have a line that's timed, like we click here, this line is timed for zero, zero all the way down. So when you click here, it's going to auto jump to that time. But to say this time right here was, let's put this right here. Let's put 
Uh, five. And then six. Alright. So now if we click here, it's going to jump to that time. And it's going to show that subtitle right there on the video. Just like that. So you want this on. It's really nice. So let's go ahead and clear this back out. Oh, let me go ahead and uh, tell you something else that's really neat. Um, if you want to change multiple lines to the exact same time, you can click on the line that you want that time, the, all the other videos' times to be. So you click on that one first. Like, I want this to be back at zero. So I click on this one first, since that's at zero. Then I hold shift, and I click on this, and it'll select all the lines up to that one. And then, when you look back over here, the first one that we clicked on is going to have those times in these boxes. So you click in there, and if you press enter, watch over here. That changes that front time, and then we go back over to this one. Now watch over where it says 6, press enter, and it changes that one again. And now you're done. Just like that, okay? Keep that in mind. You'll, that'll come in handy. I guarantee it. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, time this one right here. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and time it. But before we do that, I'm going to split this video and stop right now and continue on part two. So, I'll see you there.